Hello, my name is Mark Asmus and I'm with Plumline Solutions. In this video, I will cover how to quick send an accounts receivable statement, including the quick send setup screen, the customer setup, and the process of sending the statement. Let's get started. Here I am logged into Microsoft Dynamics SL. I have Application Server already set up and running. For more information on how to set up Application Server, see the How to Configure Application Server video. You will need Application Server running somewhere on your network in order to quick send documents. To start, let's select the Quick Send Setup screen in the Shared Information module. This screen is used to configure defaults for the various types of documents that can be sent via Quick Send. I'll switch to Form View for easier viewing. I'll select AR Statement as my document type. For delivery method, I'll select email. I'll enter a notify and a reply to email address. For the attachment type, I'll select Adobe Acrobat for a PDF attachment type. And then in the subject line and body text, I can enter something such as statements attached for the subject. And for the body text, I'll type Dear Customer Name, your monthly statement is attached. The Customer Name tag is a variable that you can use so that during processing, it'll swap in the actual customer name. Refer to the F1 Help for more information about the various variables you can use in the subject text and body. Once I'm happy with the setup, I'll select Save and close out of the screen. Once the Quick Send Setup screen is populated, you will want to specify which customers are to be Quick Send customers. This is done in Customer Maintenance. Once in Customer Maintenance, go and select your customer ID. And on the Quick Send tab, we'll go ahead and set this customer up. Again, I'll switch to Form View for easier viewing. For Document Type, I'll go ahead and select AR Statement. For the receiver email address, I'll enter this person's email address. And I can pretty much leave everything else alone as it defaulted in from the Quick Send Setup screen. Once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and click Save, and I'll make sure this Quick Send checkbox ch is checked. Without this checked, it won't actually Quick Send the statement. This is a nice way of turning, temporarily turning on and off Quick Send for a particular customer. I'll go ahead and close out of Customer Maintenance, and I'll head into the Close Statement Cycle screen to go ahead and age and close my statement cycles. Once this is complete, I'll close out of here, and I'll head to the Statements Report. From the Statements Report, I'll go ahead and just click Print. And this process will now print a physical copy of any statements for customers who are not set up for Quick Send. But for the folks who are set up for Quick Send, it won't actually print anything to the printer. Instead, it'll queue them up to Application Server for emailing. Once the printing is complete, we can check on our Application Server to see how the Quick Send process is going. Here we can see Application Server looks like it has successfully processed the request. And we can verify that by checking Outlook. And here we can see statement attached in our Outbox. We can double click to view the email. We can see that the customer name was correctly swapped in for that variable. And we can see the statement is attached in a PDF format. This concludes the overview on how to set up AR statements for QuickSend. Thank you.